In the last few years, Nigeria has developed a reputation for evolving bold ideas to boost agriculture in the country, many of which have ended as mere paper talk. To put an end to this trend, former President Ulushe Gwobasanjo chaired the development of a zero hunger strategic review report that the federal government would need to address the reality of increasing hunger by 2030. The key to achieving zero hunger depends on implementation and our collective will. There must be strong support for farmers at all levels and for, produce, and for producers or producers organizations and governments must additionally provide the right policies, regulations and incentives. We must address the humanitarian situation in the Northeast and put into place holistic development and growth solutions that will make it difficult for insurrections to take roots. Working with the private sector to achieve the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal 2 and find effective ways to beat poverty and malnutrition, the Minister of Health says the country stands to lose over 5 million children to malnutrition in the Northeast. The sad irony is that these regions provide the bulk of the food that we eat in this country. How is it that the regions that produce the food is the region with the highest number of children with malnutrition? Government has to do the needful to ensure that we tackle not only malnutrition but food insecurity. In each state, the governor needs to declare at least two crops and one livestock that will be the priority for them for their state. It could be more than two crops, it could be more than one livestock. The promoters say the 60-page Zero Hunger Roadmap document, which has four states as pilot to monitor agricultural productivity, will be intensely monitored every six months. Gloria Umezuke, Channels Televisions.